This video we're going to be talking about skin cancer. So what is skin cancer? Skin cancer is described as malignant lesions of the skin. It can or cannot metastasize. And uh, there are three different types of skin cancer and we'll discuss those shortly. So what causes skin cancer? There are many things that cause skin cancer but the primary one is overexposure to the sun. Different causes include chronic skin damage, which includes repeated injury or irritation. Uh, genetic predispos predisposition can also play a factor. Being over the age of 60, being light-skinned, um, extensive exposure to chemical carcinogens, as well as working outside gives you increased risk of skin cancer. So there are three types of skin cancer. The first one is basal cell. And this arises from the basal cells contained in the epidermis. Metastases are rare, but underlying tissue destruction can progress to the internal organs of the body. The second type of skin cancer is squamous cell. And squamous cell skin cancer is a tumor of the epidermal keratinocytes. And this type of skin cancer is known for um, Sur uh, infiltrating the surrounding structures and met metastasizing to the lymph nodes. The third type of skin cancer is melanoma. Melanoma can occur at any place on the body, however um, places such as birthmarks or new moles are uh, of particular concern. It's highly metastatic so it can spread throughout the body and uh, parts of the body that it spreads to most are the brain, lungs, bone, and liver. And the survivability of melanoma depends on how early it was diagnosed. Assessment for skin cancer, particularly melanoma, can be done as easy as A, B, C, D, E. So if you remember this acronym, that will help you out for your NCLEX. The A stands for asymmetry, and as you can see in this picture, the uh, the mole, or oftentimes people think it's a mole, but in, in reality it could be the beginning of melanoma. But as you can see, this uh, skin mole is not symmetrical in any way. The second one is border regularity, so you can see the jagged, kind of faded uh, edges. It's not a specifically defined mole. Uh, the C stands for color and you can tell that the, it's very dark in the middle and then it goes to a tanner color and the most important part here is that it's not a, a uniform color from one side to the, to the next. The D stands for diameter and we're looking for something over a quarter inch in diameter such as this picture right here that can also be a sign of uh, melanoma. As well, and the E in the ABCDE acronym stands for evolution. And evolution is basically the changing of a mole over time. So as you can see in this picture, it progresses, gets bigger over time. A couple other things you uh, can also do is uh, check if your client is itching and also if they have any other general soreness. Uh, when a nurse has a patient that has skin cancer, there are a few more interventions that they can do. This includes teaching the client about the risk factors in contracting skin cancer. Um, another one is to instruct the client to perform total body skin assessments monthly and make sure you tell them to keep track of any new moles, any changing moles, and they can even follow the ABCDE rule we discussed previously. Another one is to advise them to have moles that are irritable removed, as well as teaching them that's the importance of sun protection. And an uh, important fact is that the sun is most powerful between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. And if the clients could stay out of the sun during that time, or at least cover up especially during those times, then their risk factors go down significantly.